You can do so many wonderful things so easily using the S text node. And I'm going to demonstrate that using three examples. But first of all, let's find the S text node under all the shape nodes here. So uh, let's bring that in. And we're also going to bring in the S render node for good measure. Now let's come to the S text node and then write our text and then bring up the size a little bit. This works exactly like the regular text node. So in that sense, there isn't really a steep learning curve. But this is where it starts to get interesting. So we are going to bring a S jitter node and we're going to focus on the point X offset here. So you will notice that as I start to bring up both ends of the slider here, uh, not only is the text being broken up, but also it's being stretched away, stretched out a little bit. So this can create some interesting glitchy effect for us. So let's go ahead and just keyframe this setting uh, here. And then what we're going to do is just to move over just the three frames. We're going to keep it very short. And then let's just uh, reset both ends of the slider uh, down to zero. So now, as you guys can see, we have this sort of quick glitchy text effect going on. Uh, and one thing you can also do is to click on the reset button here. So what this will do is just sort of uh, uh, change up the pattern. And you can play with this, but uh, I'm just going to stick with this for now. Now, one other thing you can do at this point is to copy and paste this S jitter node. And in this second S jitter node, if you continue to adjust the point X offset setting here, you will just continue to build on what we built earlier. And this is going to make that effect look a little bit more dramatic in case this is something that you want to try. Uh, it's up to you. Now, one thing I do want to call out here is that if we come to the S text node and start to change the font type, this can have an impact in terms of how this looks. So as you can see, this is looking a little bit different than what we had before. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to select something uh, like this. And you're going to see that this is looking very much close to uh, the glitchy text effect that we usually see out there. But one question that you may have at this point is that what if this font type is not the font type that I want to use? Well, so to do that, we're going to just come to the point right before it finishes keyframe. And then uh, we're going to just move over one frame, come to the menu and select the font that you actually want. So you, now you will see that the effect itself is still intact, but it's going to land on that. Uh, that final frame is going to land on the, the font type that we want. So as you guys can see, we can create a cool glitchy text effect using the text node and it's very easy to do. Another thing we can easily do is to add a background to our text. So we're going to bring a S rectangle node and then connect the S text node to it as a foreground. So now let's come to the S text node. The first thing we're going to do here is to change the color to something different. Now let's come back to the S rectangle node. So by adjusting, let's say the height and width, we now have a background just like this. We can also adjust, let's say quarter radius in case you want a rounded edge for the background. Uh, we can also come to the style tab and uh, easily change the color of this uh, background. Now, if we come back to the controls tab and uncheck the solid option and then bring up the border width. Now you guys can see that we can easily just switch to a border uh, just like this. And by adjusting the length as well as the position setting, you can create some very interesting uh, border animation uh, using just this one node. So let's keyframe the length setting here and then bring it down to zero. Then let's move over maybe 20 frames. And then we're just going to uh, bring this length setting back up to one. Now let's do the same for position. So let's go back and then let's keyframe the position setting here, move over 20 frames and then bring it up to one. So now you guys will see that, that when we play this, we have a nice little uh, border animation going on. All right. One other thing I want to uh, mention here guys is that uh, when we bring up the size of the text here uh, the picture quality is not going to be compromised as much so uh, to demonstrate i'm going to just plug in an s transform node and then uh, all i'm gonna do is just to bring up this entire effect uh, quite a bit here but you guys will see that the picture quality is crystal clear there isn't that much of uh, degradation going on now this is quite different as opposed to let's say we were to do this using the conventional method uh, with the text node not only is it going to be extra steps but also when we bring it up uh, to that same size you will see that the quality is going to be uh, degraded quite a lot so you will see that there is a bit of a difference between these two so this is another advantage 
of using the S text node. All right, lastly, let's bring a S grid node. Now you can easily duplicate this text and create some interesting pattern here. So by playing with the grid cell X and grid cell Y settings, this will allow you to just expand or uh, reduce the number of copies that you want to create horizontally or vertically, uh, depending on which direction that you want to go. But one thing I want to call out here with, with uh, grid cell Y is that odd numbers seem to work really well in the sense that text will always look like it's staying in the middle. That middle text will always be centered. So this might be something to keep in mind when you are playing with this animation. But uh, with that being said, uh, you can also play with uh, the X offset and Y offset setting here. What this will do is just allow you a, to adjust the space uh, in between the texts, in between these copies, uh, in case that, uh, you know, it's, let's say, too tight or too loose. Uh, so you have the option to do so. So let's get to the animation by bring down cell X and Y down to one. And then we're going to keyframe cell Y and then move over five frames. And then we're going to bring this up to 11. And then uh, let's uh, bring down Y offset a little bit so that we see more text on the screen. And then we're going to uh, keyframe cell X at this point. And then let's move over another five frames. And then we're going to once again, bring it up to 11. And then uh, we're going to just reduce the uh, X offset a little bit so that we see more text where this text will be sitting a little bit closer to each other. So now guys, as you can see that uh, we have a nice, interesting, uh, you know, text pattern animated where you can create a duplicated texts uh, you know, using just the S grid node without using the duplicate node. Uh, so it's very easy to do. And once again, guys, it's all thanks to the S text node. So yeah, it's very interesting, uh, new feature in the Ventures of 19. Feel free to play with it. And as always, I will see you next time.